yeah hi everyone welcome to my max academy in this uh, uh, video i will be teaching you how to do division of polynomials right so division of division of polynomials right how we divide one polynomial by the other polynomial that's what i will be teaching you in this video so we will take uh, the first problem suppose the question is divide divide uh, 2x power 4 plus 8x cube plus 7x square plus 4x plus 3 by x plus 3 so we are going to divide this polynomial by this polynomial x plus 3 right so whenever we need to divide this by this then so this is your of the polynomial which you need to divide by this so so which means we will write here So this is the divisor this is the dividend so this is the divisor which is going to divide this. so which means we will write this inside the division so here when you start writing the polynomial you should first write the highest power first so which is the highest power of the variable x power 4 then the next highest power then the next highest power so here the highest power among all this is x power 2 x power 4 so that you should write then the next side after x power 4 you should write x cube term which is this then x square term which is this so it is already in the arranged form so it will go in the decreasing powers of x the first four then three then two then x then the number constant then here also you should arrange so this is x plus three this is x plus three so now how do we divide these two so to for the division of this the step is first we have to take the first term of this by first term of this and so what is the first term of this 2x power 4 that should be divided by x fine so i will write the rough method here so 2x power 4 should be divided by x 2x power 4 by x what is 2x power 4 by x x will get cancelled 4 so it become x cube so you will get 2x cube when you divide 2x power 4 by x you will get 2x cube put that 2x cube here put that 2x cube here so first term of this by first term of this 2x power 4 by x right will give you 2x cube right so 2x power 4 by x if you cancel you will get 2x cube so 2x cube that you should write it in the quotient then with this 2x cube you have to multiply this entire thing so next step is 2x cube should be multiplied with this entire thing x plus 3 right now what is 2x cube into x plus 3 2x cube into x is 2x power 4 2x cube into 3 is 6x cube right so now we will write that here so 2x power 4 we have to multiply this with this whole thing which i have done here then you should write this one here plus 6x cube then we should subtract that now whenever we want to subtract we have to change the sign of the polynomial so this is plus it will become minus this is plus it will become minus because we are subtracting right now this is 2x power 4 this is minus 2x power 4 it will get cancelled now this is 8x cube minus 6x cube what is 8x cube minus 6x cube is 2x cube so you have to see only the changed sign see this is plus 8 this is minus 6 don't see this sign the bracket 1 or the change the sign I am writing into the bracket right so you have to see the sign of your 6 is minus now not plus so plus 8 minus 6 is plus 2 2x cube it will come then you bring down this plus 7x square will come down then again what we should do we should take the first term of this by first term of this right so what is this 2x cube first term by this first term of this which is x so that will give you 2x square put that 2x square here 
it will become plus 2x square. Then with this 2x square, you have to multiply this entire thing. With this 2x square. So 2x square into this entire thing, x plus 3. x plus 3. That gives you 2x square into x is 2x cube. 2x square plus 3 is 6x square. Now substitute this 2x cube plus 6x square here. So you will get 2x cube plus 6x square. Now we need to subtract. When we have to subtract, we have to change the sign. So this is plus, you have to change the sign of the this polynomial which we got from here. Right? So minus this is plus, it will become minus. Here it is plus, it will become minus. Now again 2x cube, this is minus 2x cube. Cut. They will get cancelled. Now this is plus 7 and this is not plus 6, minus 6. So plus 7 minus 6 is what? 7 minus 6 is 1. So it will become x square, which is 1x square. x square means 1x square. Right? Then we will bring down this plus 4x top. So it will become plus 4x. Now again, we should take the first term of this by first term of this. First term of this by first term of this. So what is that? x square by x. So do that x square by x. What is x square by x? You will get x. Put that x here. Then with this x, you have to multiply this x plus 3. With this x, we have to multiply this x plus 3. So x into x plus 3 x into this entire x plus 3. So then now if you multiply x into x is x square, x into 3 is 3x. Now put that here. So this will become x square plus 3x. x square plus 3x. Now we will subtract. So this is plus x square, it will become minus. This is plus 3x will become minus 3x. Now x square minus x square. They will get cancelled. Now this is 4x, this is minus 3x. 4x minus 3x. Where after changing the sign, you have to change only the change in the sign. 4x minus 3x is x. Then bring down this plus 3 down. So plus 3. Fine. Now again, we should take the first term of this by first term of this. Now x by x. So you should do x by x. First term of this divided by first term of this. Now what is x by x? Then get cancelled. You get 1. So you will get plus 1. You will get plus 1. Again with this plus 1, you have to multiply this entire thing, x plus 3. So that will be 1 into x plus 3. With this 1, you have to multiply this x plus 3. Right? So 1 into x plus 3, the entire thing. So that will give you 1 into x plus 3 is what? x plus 3. Put that x plus 3 here. So it will become x plus 3. Now change the sign. This plus x, it will become minus x. Plus 3 will become minus 3. Now this is x, this is minus x. They will get cancelled. This is plus 3, this is minus 3. They will also get cancelled. Your remainder is 0. The remainder is 0. It is not necessary that you should get the remainder always 0. Sometimes you may get some, some remainder also, which may not be 0. But in this problem, it is 0. So, which means when you divide this by this, this is your quotient. So, your quotient is, quotient is what? Quotient is this one, 2x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 1. And your remainder is? The remainder is 0. The remainder is 0. Clear? So, this is how we do. We divide two polynomials. It is also called as long division for polynomials. It is also called as long division. Friends, this is how we divide two polynomials. Fine? So, I will do another sum. Next sum. Second sum. So, second sum. Yes, I am changing the question. Right? I'll erase this also. Right? The question is x cube minus 6x square divide x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 plus 11x minus 6. Divide this by minus 4x plus 3 plus x square minus 4x plus 3 by plus minus 4x plus 3 plus x square fine so I divide this 
can divide this by this right so what we do we put this division you will write this here which is x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 you have to always write the highest power first then the next highest power which is 2 then x then the number right it should be always the highest power of x should be that term should be written first then the next highest power so if it is x cube x cube is the highest you have to write the x cube first then this this and this sometimes they may interchange they may say 11x here and then 6x square will come here but you should write 6 square after you write x cube now here again here also you should write the highest power first so don't write like minus 4x plus 3 plus x square it's wrong here also the highest power of x should come what is the highest power of x here x square so x square then x term should come what is x term minus 4x then the number 3 Right, always the highest power should be there. Here also, here also. First highest power, then the next highest power, then next next. So we'll keep reducing the powers of x one by one. Okay, here also. Right. So this is x square. Then minus four x. You have to be careful with the sign. Then plus three. Now we will follow the normal method that we used in the previous problem. So how do we do the division? Right. So for that, what we do? We'll take the first term of this and first term of this. Right. So that is x cube by x. First term of this by first sorry x square. This x square. X cube by x square. What is x cube by x square? X cube by x square is x because it has three x. This has two x. This is x into x into x. X cube means what? X cube means x into x into x by x square means x into x. So x, 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 x will get cancelled. We will get 1x. Clear? So that you will put it here. Then with this x, you have to multiply this entire thing. So x into this entire thing. So that is x into this entire thing. What is that? x square minus 4x plus 3. Now multiply. x into x square is x cube minus 4 x into minus 4x is minus 4x square, x into 3 is 3x, x into 3 is 3x, clear, now we will substitute that here, so x cube minus 4x square and substitute this entire thing here, plus 3x, now change the sign, so this is plus, it will become minus, no sign means plus, here it is minus, so it will become plus, here it is plus, it will become minus, now this is x cube, this is minus x cube, cut, they will get cancelled. Now we have minus 6x square, this is plus 4x square. So minus 6 plus 4 is what? Minus 2. This is minus 6, this is plus 4. Minus 6 square plus 4x square is minus 2x square. You have to be careful with the sign. This is minus 6, this is plus 4. Right? You have to see always the change in the sign. Right? Don't think, don't think this minus 4. Don't think it is minus 6 and minus 4. Don't put minus 10. Minus 6. And this is plus 4. You have to see always the sign in the bracket. The sign that you have changed. That you should take it as a letter to sign. So minus 6 plus 4 gives me minus 2x square. Then this is minus 11x, sorry, plus 11x minus 3. What is 11x minus 3x? 11 minus 3 is what? 8 plus 8x. The sign is very important. Now once after we subtract, then we should take the again the first term of this by first term of this. So first term of this by first term of this. So what is this? First term minus 2x square. First term of this by x square. By x square. Now x square x square will get cancelled. We will get minus 2. So minus 2 will come here. Now with this minus 2 you have to multiply this entire thing. Which means whatever you got here you have put here. Minus 2. We got here minus 2. We have put that here minus 2. That minus 2 into this entire thing. So minus 2 into this entire thing. Which is x square minus 4x plus 3. Now, if you multiply, what do we get? 2 into x square minus 2x square minus 2 into plus 4x is plus 8x. See, we are supposed to bring this down. After we subtract, we are supposed to bring this minus 6 down. Right? So, minus, minus 2 into minus 4 is plus 8x. Minus 2 into plus 3 is minus 6. Now, let's take this entire thing and put it here. 
So you'll get minus 2x square plus 8x minus 6. Now again, we will have to change the sign. So this is minus, it will become plus. This is plus, it will become minus. And this is minus, it will become plus. Now this is minus 2x square, this is plus 2x square. Cut. This is plus 8x, this is minus 8x. That will also get cut. This is minus 6, this is plus 6. This will also get cut. So answer is 0. I mean, remainder is 0. So, my quotient, our quotient is, quotient is x minus 2, remainder is 0, remainder is 0, clear? So, how to do this? Fine. So, this is how we divide this by this. So, this is the dividend, this is the divisor, this is the quotient, this is the remainder. Clear? So now we will go to the third problem. Fine. So I will erase this. Let's show the third problem. Right. Hope you all have copied this. Right. Okay. So now the third problem is divide. Divide. I'm going to erase this also. Fine. So, next one is divide uh, 2x power 4 minus 3x cube to 2x power 4 minus 3x cube plus 6x plus 6x minus 3x square minus 2 by x square minus 2. Divide 2x power 4 minus 3x cube plus 6x minus 3x square minus 2 by x square minus 2. We are divide this. This by this. Right? So, we will have to first put that in this. So, first raise the highest power. Which is the highest power here? 2x power 4. Put that. 2x power 4. Then the next highest power is x cube. So, minus 3x cube. Then the next highest power is x square that is this term. So, you have to write this first. Do not write 6x here. After x cube, we should write the x square term which is minus 3x square along with the sign. Just do not put just only plus 3x square which is along with the sign. Then after x square, we should write x term which is plus 6x then minus 2. So, first you need to arrange in the decreasing powers of x or descending powers of x. Descending powers of x. So, first you should write the highest power, then the next highest power. So, do not write this as it is here. If it is already arranged here, then you can write as it is. But here it is C. After x cube, x square should come. But x is coming. So, when you are writing, you have to be careful. You should write the x power 4, then x cube, then x square you should write, then 6x, then minus 2. So, after x power 4, x power 3, x power 2, x number. The same way here also. x square minus 2. So, I will write x square is the first term, highest power is x square. After that, I should have x term, but there is no x term. After x square, I should have x, x term, but there is no x, which means you should put plus 0x. This is very important. Any term that is missing, you have to put, because after x square, you should get x, but there is no x. We are having number directly. Then we should put minus 2, so minus 2. So, if any term is missing, you have to put 0 for that. Suppose here, there is no x cube term. If suppose this term is not there, they have given 2x power 4, then you write 2x power 4. After that, you will see where is x cube. x cube is not there, means you will put 0x cube. You should put plus 0x cube. But here, x cube term is there. We will also do one more problem there, that term is not there. So, here also, all the terms should be there. Any term not there, you have to put 0. Here also, all the terms should be there. Any term not 0, you should put 0 for that term. And highest power of x, then the next highest power, then the next highest power like that. Here also first the highest power, then the, then one less than that. Right? So, first is the arrangement and missing terms you have to put 0. Now, we will divide. Now, take the first term of this with first term of this. 2x so, power 4 by x square. So, first term of this by first term of this. So, which means 2x power 4 this by x square by x square. So, what do we get? We will get 2x square. Because x power 4 and x square will give you x square. 
there is a 2. So 2x square. So that you should put here. 2x square. Then with this 2x square, you have to multiply this entire thing. With this 2x square, you have to multiply this entire thing. So what do we get? We get 2x square. Sorry. You have to multiply 2x square with this entire thing. So you have 2x square into this entire thing. What is that? x square plus 0x minus 2. Right? If you multiply this 2x square into this entire thing, what do we get? 2x square into x square is 2x power 4 plus 2 into 0 is 0. x square into x is x cube. So it will become 0 x cube because 2 into 0 is 0. x square into x is x cube. Then 2x square into minus 2 is minus 4x square. Minus 4x square. Now substitute all of them here. So it will become 2x power 4 plus 0x cube minus 4x square. Right. Now we will change the sign. Minus. This is plus. It will become minus. This is minus. It will become plus. Now 2x power 4. This is minus 2x power 4. They get cancelled. Then this is minus 3x cube. This is minus 0x cube. Minus 0 means it's 0. So minus 3 minus 0 is minus 3. So it will become minus 3x cube. Then this is minus 3. This is plus 4. Minus 3x square plus 4x square will give you 1x square plus 1x square. So we'll just put x square, which means it is 1x square. We don't put here 1. If you want, you can put if it is generally when we say x square, it is 1x square. Right? And then you bring this 6x down. So plus 6x. Right? Then again take the first term of this, first term of this. Minus 3x cube by x square. So we write minus 3x cube by x square. So if we divide that. If you divide that, what do we get? We get x square x cube will give you x, so you will get minus 3x. Minus 3, so put that minus 3x here. Then with this minus 3x, you have to multiply this entire thing. So minus 3x into this whole thing. So minus 3x into this whole thing. x square plus 0x minus 2. This entire thing. Only with this minus 3x, not with the whole thing. Do not do with the whole thing with this, only this minus 3x into the whole thing. Whatever you just got here, that you will put it here, with that you will multiply only this. Now minus 3x into x square is minus 3x cube. Minus 3x into 0x is, you can say plus or minus, minus, minus into plus minus, 3 into 0, 0, x into x is x square. Minus 3 into minus 2 is plus 6x. So you write that here. So this will become minus 3x cube minus 0x square plus 6x. Now we will have to change the sign. This is minus, it will become plus. This is minus, it will become plus. This is plus, it will become minus. Now this is what? This is uh, 3x square, this is minus 3x square. They get, get cut. They get cut. Now this is 1x square. This is 1x square, this is 0x square. So 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So 1x square. We will get x square. So here 6x minus 6x. They will get cancelled. Right? Which means if they get cancelled, you will get 0x square. 0x. Plus 6x minus 6x is 0x. Now bring this minus 2 down. Bring this minus 2 down. Now again, we have to take the first term of this with the first term of this. So x square by x square. So, x square by x square. That will give you 1. Put that 1 here. Plus 1. Put that 1 there, which is plus 1. Then, plus 1 into this entire thing. You have to multiply 1 into this entire thing. So, which is 1 into this entire thing. x square plus 0x minus 2. So, 1 into that will give you, 1 into x square is x square, plus 1 into 0 x is 0 x, 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. Now, substitute this value here. So, you will get x square plus 0 x minus 2. Then, we have to change the sign. So, this is, which means we are subtracting, which means we should change the sign. So, this is plus, it will become minus. This is plus, it will become minus. This is minus, it will become plus. Now, this is x square, this is minus x square. Cut. This is 0 x, this is also 0 x. This is 0 x, 0 x. That will also get cut 0. Minus 2, this is plus 2. That will also get cut. Get answer as remainder as 0. So here also the, the remainder need not be 0 always. 
And what are problems we have done? We are getting zero. Sometimes you may get some non non zero remainder also. Right. So so therefore our quotient is quotient is two x square minus three x plus one. Remainder is zero. Here also we got zero. Here also we got zero. Fine. Now let's try to do. Uh, another sum, fine. Is that clear? How to do this? Fine. So now we'll do the one more sum, the fourth problem. We'll say fourth problem. Divide, right? So I will erase this. Erase this also. This is a rough work. I'm erasing that also. Fine. So divide. Let's do the division of divide three uh, x cube. Right. So divide three x cube plus x square plus two x plus x square plus two x plus five by by 1 plus 2x plus x square. 1 plus 2x plus x square. So we are going to divide this by this. Fine. So how do we do this again? So we should write this 3x cube, the highest power. Then the next highest power is square. Then the next one is 2x. Next one is plus 5. And here, don't write 1 plus 2x plus x square. You should write the highest power here, which is that x square first. Then x term, which is 2x. Then the number, which is 1. Clear? So, now we will take the first term of this, first term of this. So, 3x cube by x square. What is that? x cube means you have 3x into x into x. Here you have 2x. 2x, 2x will go, you will have 1x here. So, this is 3. So, you will have 3x. Fine. So, if you want to confusing, you can do like this. 3 x cube means 3 into x into x into x. That is the meaning of x cube. Why? x square means x into x. Now, you can cancel x, 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 x. You get 3 into x which is 3x. Right. So, I will put that here. Then with 3x, you have to multiply this entire thing. 3x into this whole thing. So, what is that? 3x into this whole thing which is x square plus 2x plus 1. 3x into this whole thing. So, what that gives you? 3x into x square is 3x cube. 3x into 2x is 6x square. 3x into 1 is 3x. Now, substitute this entire thing here. You will get 3x cube plus 6x square plus 3x. Now, we will change the sign. So, this will become minus plus will become minus plus will become minus. Now, this is 3x cube, this is minus 3x cube. Cut. Now, this is x square, this is minus 6x square. So, x square minus 6x square will give you minus 5x square. Because this is minus 6, this is plus 1. If x square means you have 1, 1x one square. So, 1x square minus 6x square is minus 5x square. Now, this is plus 2x minus 3x will give you minus x. This is plus 2, this is minus 3. Plus 2x minus 3x is minus x. Fine. Right? Then, we will bring this 5 down. So, plus 5. Then, we will take the first term of this and first term of this. Divide. Minus 5x square by x square. Minus 5x square by x square. So, what that will give you? x square x square will get cancelled. We will get minus 5. So, put that minus 5 here. Put that minus 5 here. Then, with the minus 5, you have to multiply this entire thing. So, that is minus 5 into this entire thing x square plus 2x plus 1. Fine. Now, if you multiply, you get minus 5x square. Then minus 5x into plus 2x is minus 10x. Minus 5 into plus 1 is minus 5. Now, we put that everything here. So, it will become minus 5x square. This will become minus 10x. 
so it become minus 5. Now change the sign. So this is minus, it will become plus, minus it will become plus, minus it will become plus. Now minus 5x square this is plus x square. Cut. Then this is minus x, this is plus 10x that will give you 9x. This is minus 1x, minus 1 plus 10 is 9x. Then this is plus 5, this is plus 5 it will give you plus 10. Don't cancel these two. This is plus 5, don't think it is minus 5. You have to see always the change of sign. So plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. So here we got a remainder. You have to stop here. We got a remainder. So our quotient is what? Quotient is 3x minus 5 and our remainder is our remainder is 9x plus 10. Okay. How to do this? Fine. So this is how we do this. Fine. So in this, this is an example where we got some remainder. So remainder need not be always 0. Remainder need not be always 0. You may get remainder, you may sometimes you may get 0, sometimes you may get remainder. Right? So we should stop. So generally you will stop the problem when the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor. So what is the degree of the remainder? What is the degree? Highest power of the variable? 1. 9x plus 10, 1 is the degree. Here degree is 2. So whenever it is less, even if it is equal to you have to proceed. If this, if you have your 9x square, here also x square means you should continue. You should take the first term of this and divide by first term of this and continue. The moment you see the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor, you have to stop the division. Or if the remainder becomes 0, then also you should stop. The remainder is 0, you will stop. Or if the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor, then also you should stop. If not, you should continue, like by taking the first term of this by first. Here you cannot again take, I will say 9x divide, so take the first term of this and first term of this we cannot do. You cannot put here 9x first term of this by first term of this is x square. We cannot put that because your degree of remainder is less than degree of divisor. Here it is only having x, but here it is x square. So, when the degree, this, so here the degree is 1, here the degree is 2, highest power is 2, here highest power is 1, when, then we should stop the division. Right, if not you should continue, the moment you see the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor, then you should stop the long division, that is the end of the problem. Fine. So, I will do one more problem probably and then we will, uh, I think that will give you a good idea about how to divide two polynomials, right. So the fifth problem, we will go to the fifth problem, which is x power 4 minus divide x power 4 minus 5 x plus 6 by 2 minus x square, by 2 minus x square. So we are going to divide this by 2 minus x square. I'll erase this. Fine, I will erase this also. Fine, now we are going to divide this by this. Right? So again, we will put this, we will write the highest power, which is what is this? x power 4. The highest power is x power 4. Then, then we have to have x cube term. After x power 4, we should have x cube, but there is no x cube here. We do not have any x cube here. Then we should put 0 x cube. Then x square. Is there any x square? No, x square is also not there. Then again, you should put plus 0 x square. Then after x square, you should have x. x is there? Yes, minus 5 x. Then the number, which is plus 6. Clear? So, whichever term is missing, we have to put 0 for that. You see, after x power 4, I should have x cube. That is not there. Then you should put 0 x cube. After x cube, you should have x square. If that is also not there in the question, you should put 0 x square. Then x, x is there. Then number. So, here also you should write the first highest power. What is that? Minus x square. You have to write along with the sign. Minus x square first, then 2. Oh no, minus x square. After minus x square, we should have x term, but x term is not there, so I should put 0x. Then the number, which is 2 plus 2. 
and don't write just x square here. The sign is minus x square. The sign of you have to say, write along with the sign. The sign of x square is what minus. So minus x square. After that x should be there. X is not there. So I should put zero x. Then this number two. Fine. Now we have we have arranged in the decreasing powers of x. Here also decreasing powers of x, which means you will write the highest power first, then the next highest, next highest. Here also the highest power, then the next highest like that and any term that is missing, we will put 0 for that. Here also x term is not there, so we have put 0. Here x cube and x square terms are not there, so we have put 0 x cube and 0 x, 0 x cube and 0 x square. Now we are ready to start the division. So you have to check these two basic checks. You have to write first the highest power, the next highest power and anything missing you have to put 0 for those terms. Same thing you have to apply for this also. Once this is done, then we can divide. Okay? So, we will take the first term of this by first term of this. So, which means x power 4 by x square. That will give you x square. x power 4 by x square will give you x square. So, I will put that x square here. Then with this x square, I have to multiply this entire thing. So, x square into this whole thing. x square into this whole thing. So, that will give you x square into this whole thing. That is minus x square plus 0x plus 2. Now, if you multiply, what do you get? x square into minus x square is minus x power 4. Right? Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. So, here, if I divide x power 4 by this one, this I should take along with the sign. This is minus x square. Right? So, you have to divide. Let well, this also. You have to take the first term of this by first term of this. First term of this is x power 4. What is the first term here? Not x square, minus x square. You have to take along with the sign. So this will give you minus x square. This is plus, this is minus. Plus by minus is minus. So, you will get minus x square. Now, with this minus x square, this minus x square you have to write here. Then, with this minus x square, you have to multiply this entire thing. So, you will get minus x square into minus x square plus 0x plus 2. Plus 0x plus 2. Then, multiply. Minus x square into minus x square is x power 4. Minus x square into plus 0x. So, minus into plus is minus. 0, 0 into 1 is 0, x square into x is x cube. Then minus x square into plus 2 is, you will get minus 2x square. Minus x square into 2 is minus 2x square. Now put this entire thing here. So you will get x power 4 minus 0x cube minus 2x square. Right? This entire thing, we will put it here. Then subtract. So this is minus because plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus, minus becomes plus. x power 4 minus x power 4, cut. Now, this is 0 x cube, this is also 0 x cube. This is plus 0 x cube, 0 x cube, 0 x x cube. That will also get cancelled. Now, this is 0 x square, this is plus 2 x square. 0 plus 2 is 2. Then x square I should write. Then we should bring this minus y x down. Now, again take the first term of this by first term of this. What is the first term of this? 2x square. Why? What is the first term of this? x square? No, it is minus x square. So, minus x square. So, x square, x square will go, you will get minus 2. Minus and then 2. Minus 2. Put that minus 2 here. Clear? Then with this minus 2, you have to multiply this entire thing. So, that is minus 2 into this entire thing, which is minus x square plus 0x plus 2. With this minus 2, I am going to multiply this entire thing. So, what are we going to get? Minus 2 x square into minus x square is 2 x square. Minus 2 into 0 x is minus 0 x. Minus 2 into 0 is 0. Then this x will come. Minus 2 into plus 2 is minus 4. Fine. So, here <coughs> we will have 2 x power square, 2 x square minus 0 x then we get minus 4, but there is nothing here, which means you need to bring this 6 down. So, it will be plus 6. Right? You have to bring, sometimes you need to bring both together. Even if you forget to bring this, if there is extra something is coming, you have to bring that down. Now, this is plus will become minus, minus will become plus, minus will become plus. Now, cut 2x square minus 2x square, cut. Then this is minus 5x, this is 0x. Now, you will get minus 5x. This is plus 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 is plus 10. So, our quotient is minus x square minus 2, 
and our remainder is minus 5x plus 10. Okay, so here also the remainder is not 0. Not necessarily that your remainder should be always 0. Your remainder can be anything. And we will stop here. We will not proceed further because the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor. Here the degree is 1. x. Here it is x square. So this is more than this. So whenever the degree of remainder is less than the degree of the divisor, we should stop the long division or we should stop the division process. So this is the answer. Fine. So I hope you have understood how to divide two polynomials. You need to follow these steps. That's all you can do any division of any two polynomials. You can do the division of any two polynomials. Fine. So I will stop this video here. You can watch my other videos on other topics. Fine. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.